We begin with Sperner's lemma. In D dimensions, we consider a set of D plus one points called vertices. A simplex is the set of all combi uh, excuse me, convex combination of the D plus one vertices as shown here. Informally, this is a uh, two dimensional simplex. It has three points because D plus one equals three when D is two. And likewise, this is a three dimensional simplex which contains four vertices. A simplical subdivision is a disjoint partition of the simplex into smaller simplices called cells. A labeling is a mapping from uh, the vertices to the uh, indices 1, 2, until d plus 1. So in two dimensions, since we have three points, uh, instead of uh, assigning them labels 1, 2, and 3, let's uh, assign uh, labels uh, red, green, and blue, R, G, and B. So each of these vertices of the simplical subdivision is assigned a color R, G, or B. A labeling is proper if and only if the vertex um, of a simplex is labeled using the indexes of only the involved vectors. So in other words, this is R and this is G. The involved vectors are G and R. So this, any point here, any vertex rather here, can only be labeled R or G because the involved vectors are R and G. So this, consider this large G, B edge, these vertices can be only labeled B or G. And likewise, for this, edge, large triangle's edge, these vertices can be labeled only B and G. This is the big triangle, uh, which has R, G, and B labels. So this is a proper labeling. Now notice that in this R, G edge, we only have an odd number of smaller RG edges. So consider this large RG edge here. We have one, two, three, which is odd number of smaller RG edges. Now consider this one. This is an RB edge and we have smaller RB edges. How many of them? One, two, three, four and five which is again an odd number and likewise for this large bg edge we have one two three four and again five number of uh, smaller bg edges so each time it's odd a cell is complete if its vertices contain all the labels one through d plus one Informally, an RGB triangle is complete. So this is an RGB triangle. It's complete. This triangle is GGB, so it's not complete. This is complete. Uh, this is not complete, again, because this is R, B, and B, and so forth. And of course, the large triangle is also complete. Sperner's lemma tells us that there is at least one complete cell, each of these smaller triangles is a cell, there is at least one complete cell in uh, delta, which is the uh, simplical subdivision. So here we can see there is one um, small RGB triangle. Uh, here's another one, and in fact there are quite a few of them here. But 
let's try to formally prove that there is at least one RGB triangle as long as the vertices uh, are labeled and the labeling is proper. That's Sperner's lemma in two dimensions. So consider uh, only this large BG edge. Now, all the smaller BG edges are doors. And I have colored these doors um, using uh, dotted lines. So these are the doors. OK. Consider this large edge. Since the two vertices at the corners are R and G, all of these inside vertices are labeled R and G. So there is no B. In other words, we don't have any BG door along this edge. Likewise, along this edge, all the inside vertices are labeled either B or R. So there are no G or green vertices here. In other words, we don't have any BG doors here either. But on this edge, we have an odd number of BG edges. So we'll start from the outside, this point here, and then we'll keep crossing the, these BG doors one after the other. And remember that we can cross each GB door only once. And we keep doing so until at some point we are stuck. There is no GB door left. For us to cross. Now note that the big GB edge here, this has an odd number of doors. Now since there are odd number of doors, once you step inside, you exhaust a door, you use that door, and uh, so you have an even number of doors left when you're inside. And then when you step back outside, you again have an odd number of doors left. So each time you get out, you can always re-enter. In other words, whenever you get stuck, it's always in the interior of this triangle, like right here. Now consider this triangle, the small triangle where you get stuck. This triangle must be an RGB triangle. Why? Because you entered the triangle through a door, a GB door. And since you cannot exit the triangle, the third vertex has to be a R vertex. Therefore, this is an RGB triangle. So we just proved Sperner's lemma for two dimensions and using induction, it can be extended to higher dimensions, three dimensions and from three dimensions to four dimensions and so on.